Hello everyone, Pedro here with Cinemild, and in today's Tip Tuesday, we are talking about the Cinemild spindles. So probably a lot of you guys are not exactly aware or not fully aware on what difference it makes when you slide the spindle up and down on the vertical tube. And today we're gonna talk about that. When I started using gimbals, and more specifically, when I started using the Ready Rig, and I started to develop the Pro Ring. Immediately when I started to look at the ring and I started to come up with the Pro Ring, the first thing I identified was the fact that, first of all, you're not supposed to grab it from the top, you should grab it from the side. And why is that? Because if you grab it from the side and you put a bearing here, you can adjust the height of the pickup point. And where did I get that genius idea? I didn't. I'm a Steadicam operator, and so I'm intimately familiar with the original gimbal, which is the Steadicam gimbal right here. And one of the ways that we tune and balance our Steadicam is adjusting something we call drop time. The position of this gimbal is adjustable up and down on the vertical post. And so what drop time adjusts is how sensitive to input the post is. If you put the post horizontal and then you let go and you count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So that's what we call a three second drop time. So you set your three second drop time and you just leave it there, right? No. So depending on the kind of shot you're doing, Steadicam operators will adjust their drop time. Let me give you an example. So let's say we're in a church and it has a beautiful ceiling. And so we wanna start the shot looking at the ceiling and then as we walk back, we slowly tilt down and we land on the a bride. If I had to have a very long walk looking straight up and I have a, a lot of drop time in the rig, that means I actually have to keep my hand there as I'm walking. So the problem with that is as I walk, I might actually put input into the shot and it's gonna become shaky. So what some people might wanna do in that situation is decrease your drop time. And so. What that means is make the rig more neutral so it wants to stay in that position. So on a Steadicam, it's really simple. We just loosen the gimbal, we put it horizontally, and I slide the gimbal a little bit towards the bottom. And so you can see there, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. So we've gone from three to five or six more or less right now. And so what that allows me to do is now it takes a lot less force to keep that shot. And I can almost not even do anything and I can achieve that slow tilt down to the bride. That is the big secret that Steadicam operators use. Not really a big secret if you're a Steadicam operator, but that is how we tune our drop time to be able to achieve a perfectly smooth tilt down. So now that you understand the sort of basics of drop time and how it applies to a Steadicam, you can see how when I started to use the Pro Ring, I immediately wanted to essentially replicate what the gimbal does on what we now call the spindle. So it's a pivot point that allows you to smoothly tilt that is adjustable up and down, which is exactly what this does. And so let's grab the Ready Rig now throw it on and I'm gonna demonstrate how to adjust the spindles up and down and how it has the same effect we just saw on the Steadicam. All right, so basically here we have, uh, I don't, this is not a gimbal, right? Let me start off by pointing that out. There's not a Ronin in here, but I wanted something that would not move and this is a good way to, it removes variables, but it doesn't matter. I could have a Ronin in here or anything like that, and the concept is still exactly the same, right? Because if you turn on the gimbal, the gimbal's gonna keep the camera level. It acts the same way that this handheld plate on my Cinema Pro, Pro Ring acts. First off, I have balanced my ring. So you should be able to take your hand off the ring and have the camera not move. It shouldn't tilt forward, it shouldn't tilt back. So if you've always been fighting your ring and it's always been either tipping forward or back, then you should probably watch an uh, upcoming episode of Tip Tuesday because we're gonna get into actually balancing your ring using the spindles. The first thing we're gonna do is exactly the same thing we did with the Steadicam, which is we're gonna do a drop time test. Turn it horizontal, let go of it. 
And as you can see there, it's very fast drop time. So what does that mean? As we learned with the Steadicam, it is a, right now it is bottom heavy. And just by looking at the ring, I can tell the spindles are very high up. The higher you, you slide the spindles on the, the pro ring, the more it's gonna become bottom heavy, right? And so same thing applies if you have a gimbal. All right, so right now, because it's bottom heavy, it takes a lot of effort to tilt up. And so immediately what we need to do is move these spindles down lower on the ring. So the way I do that without an assistant is I grab the spindle right here and then I grab the kip handle. You don't have to loosen it all the way. You just have to make it so that you can slide. See, there you go. So I just slid that down. Let's, let's slide it quite a bit. Now, I always leave the marks on the pro ring tubes towards me. Um, you can also, uh, once you find you, the point, you can make a mark with a grease pen or something like that. So you can find it again easily. And so initially, I'm just gonna eyeball this. All right, so we just moved that down, I don't know, about an inch. Uh, we have it pretty neutral. See, it wants to stay almost wherever it's at. So. Now, I can do a very, it almost wants to tilt by itself, just almost like you saw my Steadicam was doing. So as you can see here, look at that. I'm just suggesting that we should tilt up. I'm using just a little tip of my pinky. See that? So it is ultra, look, it almost wants to just tilt by itself which is exactly what you want to do in some situations. You don't want to manhandle the rig uh, the same way you don't manhandle a Steadicam. You simply make suggestions that you want to, for example, pan, right? You don't grab it and move it. That's not how you operate a Steadicam. And by altering the height of your spindles, you can achieve the same control, precise control and sensitivity that you might have with the Steadicam. So just like I have it set up right now, it takes very little effort to tilt up or to tilt down. So like I was giving the suggestion, you start at the ceiling, you walk back, you slowly tilt down and you hit your end mark. And after years of operating Steadicam, I know exactly where I need to move my spindles in order to achieve a certain effect. And now hopefully you do too. Very simply, the higher up you move your spindles, the more bottom heavy things are gonna get. Just think opposite. The higher up, the more bottom heavy. The lower you go, the more top heavy it's gonna be. As we get to the middle, to the balance point, things will get neutral. They would get more sensitive. You will need to make smaller adjustments on each spindle in order to fine tune the location, in order to get where I got here, where it's pretty much neutral. All right, so that pretty much covers it. I'm actually ready to go shoot something now. I love the way this camera feels in my hand. This is easily my most favorite way to operating handheld now, uh, bar none. And so uh, it gets me excited to get in the rig and go get some shots. But hopefully this has shed some light to some of you who are not fully aware of the impact the vertical position of the spindle has on your operating. So that's pretty much it. This has gone on long enough. Go out there, put your rig on, and go try this out. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next Cine Tip Tuesday.